They are vague and oftentimes intimidating, but Austin police use horse patrols for two major reasons to control crowds and to help build a relationship with the community. This weekend, a man almost hit a pair of these horses with his car. Patrick Perez shows us why something like this can have a long lasting impact. Friendly, but mighty. These horses work alongside some of Austin's best as part of APD's mounted patrol unit. It's a partnership. It's not just you put your foot on the gas or the brake. Corporal Max Johnson traded in his patrol car for one of these guys about a year ago. As far as being on a horse, you're much more vulnerable and the, uh, the vehicle has a mind of his own. Together, they help control crowds. Several thousand people at once in a very small area. A necessity during some of Austin's busiest nights. Because they won't argue with the horse. They just sort of move. But it doesn't always go smoothly. We've had several incidents where the crowd has turned hostile towards the horses. We've had suspects, you know, assault the horses. On Saturday night, police say this man nearly hit two mounted patrols on Rainy Street while trying to get away in his car. And it's a good thing the horses weren't hurt. If they experience a trauma like that, like being hit by a car, if that location is somewhere where this horse needs to be, you know, on a weekly basis, it almost makes the horse unusable. It ended the career of this big guy, a horse named Baru. We use him in a training capacity now, so he stays here on the uh, facility grounds where he's comfortable. And with 15 horses in the forest, even one of them out of the game can mean up to a year of waiting for a new one to join the field. So the next time you see one of these guys on the street, pay attention and don't do something you'll regret. In Austin, Patrick Perez, KVU News.